as it has been throughout history. One of the interesting things in the history of war is there's always this back and forth, an arms race, so to speak, between the weapon and the armor, the defense against that weapon. And it's everything from, you know, the first spear to then we get leather and then bronze to plate mail to chain mail. And we see the same thing in terms of vehicles. Um, initially, when you see, you know, mobility in the battle space, it's horses and then it's vehicles and then hold it. Can you just keep adding armor? No, mobility. It's the speed of the tank that matters. And so the point being is we've always had this back and forth and that continues today. So the military continues to look for the holy grail, armor that provides total protection while leaving soldiers and vehicles completely unencumbered. I, I do think that just everything we've seen about the ability to direct explosive or other uh, energy into a more concentrated beam does suggest that the defense is going to have a hard time keeping up over the decades and that the way you win in warfare increasingly is to get in the first shot. In future wars, the first shot is certain to be the most destructive ever as enemies adapt new firepower and